welcome welcome back to my channel my name is austin becker if this is your first time here you are most definitely welcome please do watch it on subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up at the end if you enjoy watching it okay guys i feel like this is a redeem like hey becca anyways on today's episode of the big brother nigeria reunion show it was really chilled i feel like they want us to get over the pepper they served us last night because my god my brain is still the hot. My channel still they get it because people just they knock for my channel door. You know, say so my channel door they get done. Now, guys, we hit 19k subscribers today, but that's not why I'm here. But why are you vain? Today's episode was just about eviction. So they talked about the housemates that were evicted, you know, really early into the game and all of that. And of course, you know that we have Isilomo on that table, we have Avala on that table, we have Kim on that table, we have Toyo on that table, we have Nelson, we have Jeff. Um, we have Telma. Yeah, Becca, that's it. Okay, so we actually had these seven people and of course when Isiloma was evicted guys I felt really bad because I was really getting to like her. You know, she's a tomboy She's just like everywhere trying to be everybody's mother and all of that I think for those of you who watch the ultimate love show I felt like at some point Bonale was giving me Isiloma vibes Let me know in the comment section if you felt the same way at any point, but that's me digressing all right, let me just go to my notes because it's blessing and nonsense I want to talk this night. Now, Ebuka had asked Toyo how he felt about his eviction and all of that. And he was like, he did not even understand that his eviction. And to be honest, I did not understand it either. It was one of those days Biggie decided to bring a twist to the whole eviction thing and all. You know, they had told Tasha and Sheyi to leave the house. And of course, we all thought that they had been evicted. But unknown to us and unknown to Toyo as well, they were fake evicted. Now, when Toyo was evicted and realized that Tasha and Sheyi were still in the house, you know, that they were fake evicted. Evicted. He was like, okay, when can I get my own fake evictions? But that never happened for him and he was someone that I really loved in the house because you know His whole you know going about without clothes and you know just showing off his body and all of that stuff Who know go like him? I know all of now you have me that time better you are so young Guys, when you see better team, you could make use your man talk so that better team could come your side. Not be like, yeah, yeah, better than I go say better to like man before not man I go like. Anyways, moving on from that, Kim also felt like her eviction was unfair because to her she should have stayed longer in the house. No, sweetie, you don't have to dictate to Big Brother. Whatever he says is what happens. If he says you have to leave, you have to leave. You know, and some of the other housemates, especially the female housemates, did not really vibe well with Kim. And to be honest, I kind of noticed it during the show because Kim always felt like. Mm, you know, ex-beauty queen, you know, she gets shaved, you know, our glass, everything set, so she better pass the other housemates. Well, that was how I perceived her. And, you know, coincidentally, a lot of the other female housemates actually felt that way too. You know, it felt like, oh, she was jelly well with the guys. She didn't want to have anything to do with the ladies. And when Kim was out, she was like, yes, that's who she is. Because considering the fact that most times when you're friends with females, they always go back to stab you. And when she said that, I kind of related with it because... <laughs> Your girl has had a fair share of that so i would not necessarily blame her for that well not anymore because i used to blame her for that before now and then when Ebuka asked her if she felt like her evictions was as a result of people seeing her as someone who was overconfident she was like that's who she is she's very confident she comes off as strong every single time she doesn't really let things get to her that much so it would always make people feel like mm -mm, what's wrong with this person you know she's too confident she's too proud or something like that but then again there's really nothing she can do about because that's her personality and then when Ebuka asked Avala how she felt about Kim's personality during the show Avala was like first of all I felt like Kim was overly competitive and she always just saw herself as someone better than the rest of the female housemates which boils down to what I said earlier and when Ebuka asked her why she felt that way about Kim she now mentioned that they had met themselves you know before coming into the house they actually met at the auditions and for her she felt like Kim became a totally different person during the show and then when they asked Kim Kim was like first of all it's a competition you know expect me to come and be friends with everybody i try to be on my own lane you know not being in everybody's business and of course there's no way i would have been friendly to everybody so if you felt like i was too competitive i was too this i was too that it was actually a game and you know it was just about the game we cannot ask isi lomo to tell us what she thought about kim during the show and let me just tell you isi lomo's responses were not shocking to me because i know that she and kim did not gel i mean even though isi lomo spent i think a week or two weeks in the show i just could tell that she and kim they were like this you know and of course her responses were just really hilarious to me because she was like first of all i felt like kim was doing too much i get the fact that she's a guy's girl meaning that she was closer to guys than you know girls 
but she just felt like Kim was doing too much. Kim made everybody feel like she was superior to them. Kim felt like she was better than them. And she also felt like Kim's accent was just too much, like she was doing it too much. And I remember during the show, a lot of people had things to say about Kim's accent and all of that. You know, sometimes it sounded really funny, other times it sounded really off. But then again, I just told myself, you know, better, just zone out, okay? Whenever she starts speaking, just try and pay attention to what she's saying and not really how she was saying it because... I always found it really funny. Now there was one more thing Isilomo complained about and it was the chair incident. Who remembers the chair incident guys? Okay, let me just tell you guys here. Yeah. One of the days Isilomo was sitting down on a chair in the lounge and everything and then Kim just came and told Isilomo to get up from the chair. And Isilomo was like, what? How can you ask me? to stand up from this chair. I get the fact that the housemates had agreed that that particular chair looked different so it should be set aside for whoever had the veto power. But Isilomo had an issue with Kim's approach. I mean, if you had come there and said, oh Isilomo, can you please stand up? Um, this chair is actually for whoever has the veto power. That would have made more sense. But it almost came off like, Isilomo, stand up. You know, you cannot sit there. And trust Isilomo, she did not even take it lightly. So like, why would Kim ask me to stand up from a chair that I was sitting on? On national TV, you want to use and catch trips. So she did not really find that funny at all. And Ebuka being the table mover and breaker asked Kim how she felt about Isilomo now that they are out of the game. And Kim's exact words were, I could care less. Now they asked Isilomo how she felt about Kim outside the show. And she was like, I'm indifferent about the whole thing. It's not like I'm angry at her for the things she did during the show or anything. It's just we don't really have a relationship. We don't talk that much. But we are cordial. So for me, I feel like that's okay. You don't have to be friends with everybody. Now it was at this point they moved over to the question of who was the most boring housemate. You know who was the least entertaining during the show and of course a couple of names were mentioned avala was mentioned a couple of times diane was also mentioned nelson was mentioned and because then decided that it would be nice to just shake the table a little bit considering the fact that the person that mentioned nelson's name was also in the studio and that's toyo and nelson goes first of all i was really disappointed hearing that from toyo because again toyo already knew me before the show and him coming to the show on national tv and saying that i was boring i found that really disappointing because first of all i didn't cook for this guy during the show and they come up from my bed for him to lie down and they do this one and they do that one and he still had the guts to say I was boring. And because I was like, no, there's a difference between you being entertaining and you going out of your way to cook for somebody, clean for the person. The fact that you are cooking doesn't actually make you an entertaining person. And I was like, no, I just felt really bad that Toya would say something like that. If he had come from somebody else, then I'll let it slide. But Toya was like, look, I wasn't saying it from a bad place. I was just saying that during the show, I didn't find you as entertaining. So I had to mention your name. It wasn't anything personal and stuff. You know, guys, they were still settled. Then was say that's not the woman talk because if now woman talk you go see the matter thing now they also talk about avala and jeff's wahala now let me take it back a little bit for you guys yeah in the first week of the show jeff was made the head of house and in that same week biggie had split the housemates into two teams now there was the white team and i can't remember the other team now for this white team yeah jeff was the team leader and he also had avala in his group and everything and he had made a promise to his teammates that if he had the power to save anybody it would be people from his group considering the fact that their saving grace was dependent on the bet niger coins at the time you know so when avala got evicted she felt really bad because she had realized that instead of jeff to save her like he promised jeff went ahead to save omashola now let me give you guys a back end story to that it wasn't like jeff did not want to fulfill his promise according to him according to what he said today he said that he had decided to act as the head of house as opposed to acting as the team leader now the reason is this year omashola's coins were stolen and he had nothing nothing at all so jeff just felt like it would be nice to just give out some coins to omashola just to save him you know the whole eviction and all of that so rather than top up avala's coins he decided to give it out to omashola who had nothing but obviously i would not expect avala to understand it because again she was evicted because of that singular act of kindness jeff showed to omashola so she was like you promised you promised you did not keep to your words and jeff was like look i sincerely apologize but at the time i felt like i did what was right and i do not regret it and she was like what do you mean you actually called me to apologize for this thing you did now you're coming here to say you do not regret it and jeff is like yes i feel bad that i did that which was why i apologize but i still do not regret it because at that time that was what i felt was right so i'm not going to go back on it i do not regret it and avala goes well you also got evicted not too long after and jeff is like yeah it doesn't really matter me being evicted two days after or one week after doesn't really matter as long as i'm good with my conscience then you know that's it i really do not understand why avala was trying to play the petty game of well 
serves you right, you got evicted too. But then it really, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Now to crown today's episode up here, Ebuka had asked Thelma if she felt like that fish fight she had with Tasha affected her game. You guys remember that the first fight ever on the Pepper Dem season was the fish fight Thelma had with Tasha. And she was like, yes, that that fight actually affected her game. Because again, we all know that Tasha had fans before the show. So obviously, people took sides with her and all of that. And that kind of affected her. And then it was at this point, Thelma made the statement that's already making the rounds on the internet. Thelma said Tasha's fans are like her. And then guys like, wait, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by Tasha's fans are like her? And she's like, yes, they'll know that she's doing something wrong. Yes, they'll still be supporting her. That's crazy for me. That's a stupid thing to do. Nobody will beat me. Nobody will do this. And then guys like, whoa, whoa, just hold it there because we're going to have an episode where we get to talk about you guys as the housemates and how your fans react. So obviously that's going to be a topic for another day. That's basically everything that happened on today's episode. Like I said, it was a very chilled one. Today was more of them just reviving all the emotions unleashed by evictions. Those were actually Ebuka's words, not mine. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please do not forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I will definitely see you guys. Bye!